somebody asked a question about WEF, and I'm not really one to get into politics. I only have one playlist that deals with that, and it's only because I'm doing predictions. But the World Economic Forum, if you're still worried about 2030 and all these agendas they're putting out, you need to know something about the World Economic Forum. They have always, since their, since their very inception, have always met at a very secret facility in Davos. Well, for the past two years, it's been widely known they have not met there. No one really knows what happened. Uh, I had done a video in the past, my predictions on Switzerland, where someone, I don't know who he is, cannot verify anything about him, but he paid me $1,000 to do a prediction, and I did it for him. But uh, I, I already told you all, all the details in prior videos, but he was very, very interested to know if the WEF was ever going to reconvene in Davos again. And uh, I had done the predictions. I told him, I said, look, I don't know about in the far future, but in the near future, up to the next five or six years, they will not meet in Davos again. And uh, I did the isometric analysis. I did the date sequence prediction. I showed him all, all the arithmetic, showed him how I came to those conclusion, conclusions, just like I've showed many of you in many of my prediction videos, how how we can basically use the predicts of the past to see exactly what's going to happen on, on a future year. So I showed him all that, and he, and he was pretty much in agreement. And uh, he was happy with what he got, and he paid, and it was over with. But it's, I only mention that now because somebody in the in the chat thread mentioned uh, the Agenda 2030 and WEF. Now, when it comes to a mass awakening, when it comes to something like the Internet, which 40 years ago no one would have predicted, none among, none among the elite would have ever been able to predict what the internet would have done. They thought they were going to be able to control information and control the flow of narratives and all that, but that's not what happened. It backfired and started an awakening, and people started disbelieving the narratives that are being promulgated today. But this has a, this has a, a, a side effect that has nothing to do with the elite. It has nothing to do with our secret controllers, the puppet masters, nothing. It has everything to do with the collapse of a control system. And I'm not talking one of human provenance. I'm, what I'm discussing is the simulacrum itself. We have a lot of incidents. I just finished watching a video where Autodidactic did a collaboration with another local Australian. And they showed some very convincing footage of double sun activity. Strange anomalies, two, two huge solar orbs in the same in the same sky at the same time uh so you know signs in the sun and moon and stuff well to me none of that's mysterious i understand why other people would show that footage would discuss it and look at to me it's not mysterious because i'm looking at everything from the angle of i already accept the fact that i'm a, you know, i'm in a simulation now i have to understand its protocols now i have to understand why all these historical events fit within precise math mathematic patterns that have predictive value now i have to understand why the world is seemingly destroyed on the exact year every 792 years or in a different protocol every 138 years a different geographical region gets it so uh these cataclysm protocols so in my, in my analysis, my overall analysis, I have already made the cognitive leaps to assert that, hey, you know what, we live in a simulation, so the phenomena in and of itself is not mysterious to me. What I have to do is figure out what it means, what it's attached to, what are the past predicates, because then I'll be able to figure out when that phenomenon will occur again in the future. So when it comes to double suns, and it comes, comes to uh, this... this all over Australia and different parts of the world. He showed some footage from the United States. It's very convincing. There were two suns in the sky at the same time. This is not amazing to me because the past is always a predicate for the future. We, are, we have entered the end times. I have showed you many videos showing you that it was widely known that 1902 and all the very bizarre, strange phenomena that occurred in that year, 1902 began year one of the predicted last days. And I'm not going to get into that now. You can go watch those videos. I have three videos on just specifically 1902, but probably 40 videos on the last days and how we interpret the times. So what calendar we're actually on. <laughs>